Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. We're still stumbling through the Mulderwood, uh, stumbling our way from one Scoia'tael skirmish to the next, and it seems like we're getting closer to finishing up this area. There's a few more things around here, I think, because this area is completely locked off. The one we just cleared the bridge for, but it seems as though there's not even. I think there's one. Oh. Okay, there's another elf over there. But it seems like there's only one event over here, around here in the back near that barricade over here. So this seems to be a bit of a dam. The dam itself is of no interest, but there is a cave over here. I don't know if this is going to be a battle or just something that we need to make a decision to. Meave was discussing some matter with Gascon when a scout approached. His blood-streaked uniform revealed the matter to be urgent, so the Queen cut short her conversation and requested a report. We were scouting, milady, and we found a cave entrance. Small scattering of elves guarding it, but we took them right out. Hmm. Gascon scratched his chin. I'd wager ten Novigrad crowns there are more Scoia'tael squirreled away inside. We strike before they know we've snuffed out their guards. We might well catch them by surprise, but we must act quickly. Okay, uh, I've always gone for the open options, so let's just attack the elves' hideout. Then let us act. Gather some men and prepare them for an attack, but keep quiet. The Lyrians crept into the cave. They moved carefully, noiselessly even, avoiding notice for quite a while. Nevertheless, elven warriors soon came pouring out of a side cavern. Okay, so it seems like they knew we were coming anyway. Elven hideout. Scoia'tael warriors typically employ stratagems of cunning, such as weaving their paths to lead pursuers astray. Yet not this time. The partisans hit Meave's force with all they could muster, as though striving at all costs to force her from the cave. The elves' new tactic worked against them, however. Their fierce resistance only further aroused Meave's curiosity, compelling her to discover what they had hidden in those mysterious caverns. So a standard battle against Koyatel, and we're uh, actually listening to some OG Gwent music right now. Um, does Koyatel do a lot of damage, so I feel like I need to keep the Morana runestone, and might as well just keep the Lyrian Merlot as well. So let's remove the Lyrian Horn, keep the Slingers, and then um, it's a standard battle, so I might be able to use the Medic in the next round so I can remove him now. Nick is displayed automatically. The Wagenberg, I think I'm going to skip as well. So let's keep the Slingers. And then the Alchemist, I'm going to keep. And maybe switch out one more Slinger. Ask for different allies played from hand or move to the Eldero. Move next to it and boost it by one. Okay. Might as well keep the Red, the Grey Rider as well. So finish redrawing. Favot one! So get away, human. Was that an elven? Play one this unit. This is elven land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. Squirtel Sentinel. Play one unit from your graveyard and half their power. But then, of course, it's healed immediately by the Hawker Healer. Interesting. And how often can he do that? Every two turns. And their graveyard is filled with. Oh yeah, the guards we took out on the uh, at the entrance, which is interesting. Let's start out with the Grey Rider and then put him over here and we'll see how that's going to work out for us. They have less cards in hand. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from deck. Oh, wow. We ought to help one or the other. But it's not going to help. Oh, no. a little bit. oh, they can heal on cooldown. We cool ought to down. help one or the other. So that is interesting. They can just heal on cooldown. Which is fine, I suppose. Just gonna slowly play my drummers now. Left, right, left. And right. the Grey Rider moves, so I think I'm gonna use that to boost Gascoin. So, yeah, that was obviously the choice I would have made as well. Down. Must be something of value to them here. So, the healers are out now, though. So, I think if I use Meave to damage all the healers, there we go, that's uh, 15 points at once. Then see what we can pull out with the... Yeah, I should have done that first for the spoil abilities. 
And now we have... We need 16 more points. Um, interesting. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do two slingers. There we go. So we're one point behind. Or maybe even use the... The alchemist set a unit's power to the units on its left. Greetings. Let's do that and then just what do is it? this. There we go. Didn't waste too much points there. Uh, we got the rounds. So I'm not gonna try pass in the next round because we still have a large card advantage. And I think with this we should be able to do it. I am going to try and replace one of the slingers with... Okay, Gascon. That's fine, I guess. Let's put the war wagon down now. You can try to win them all. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> so there we have a healer. We gotta have I shall not a neophyte. Fail. And then, of course, it's healed again. Fair enough, but I'm gonna play this out because I want to see what happens. I oh, use the foraging now. I only loot corpses. Destroy the two light infantry. Yeah. Okay. There we go. You look down. We destroy a squad tail unit, boosting black Rayla in hand for now. So that is fine, I guess. Eleven points ahead, but he can do a lot. Death to old one. <laughs> okay, that's actually high. 12 points in one go. Um, can't do anything with the slinger just yet, so might as well... Huh, I feel like Egg is not not going to do much right now. Um, so let's just put Gascon down. Quick and painful this will be. And there we have Nickers. Because it's actually our first card we have here. Nickers has resilience, which means he'll stay on the board even if we lose. Dole! That might be a problem. Everything all right? Okay. After two turns on turn, start damage adjacent units by six. If any were destroyed, move to the other side of the battlefield. Definitely not gonna do that. So I can do this. Thing about slings, Destroy the, the spying one. unit. The um, neophyte damage it, and then the elven sentry. And then I'm gonna have to be careful. Because I think I can use Meave to put it to one. And if it wants to try and damage any of my units, it's gonna fail, of course. Because it's gonna die immediately. And I feel like. Yeah, okay, there we go. Taking that one out as well. Getting more and more boosted. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to play this out. I think I am gonna play Black Rayla. Um. So let's put her in between Gascoin and Nickers here. To You'll see if she can boost further. And let's see what this guy is going to play. Because I feel like he's out of healers. He pulled all of, all of his healers out of his deck. And he actually only has one card in his deck anymore. But that's a healer. Oh, is he going to heal himself? No. <laughs> he probably can't heal himself. It's, another, it's an ally. Yeah. He can't heal himself. Then I'm going to use Black Rayla to get the Xavier out. I think that's going to be the best. Because uh, I don't have a drummer on the field, so Xavier is going to be best. So let's put him on the field. Nice cars. No, they don't hurt. Let's have him boost uh, Rayla further. There we go. That we can use Rayla to get. I think if we get Raynard out at last, we can get another charge on that. So Raynard lasts. We can get another charge. So that means if I use the Forager now first, I can use the Forager to get these two out of there. No, no, no. I don't want to get those two out of there. Uh, let's just put them right next to the war wagon. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do that immediately, am I? Do I? Okay, so let's do this. Use it. Then use Reynard next. Put him next to the 
forager. We must trust each other. Now we get more charges. We can use Xavier to boost uh, Rayla again. Then we use Rayla. I think I can actually just use the forager now, right? Because I'm not going to be able to get more charges. So let's use the forager now. He gets that boosted. And of course those guys get boosted because my units are getting destroyed. Then we do this forager. Yeah, I'm gonna do the forager again on Reynard and that one. Then use Black Rayla to get the... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, I did have another drummer. That was gonna be nice as well, but never you mind. I think the war wagon is gonna be fine. Let's put the war wagon down over here. Can't take it anymore. Then we can use the Lyrian Merlot to boost one of those light infantry units to 53. Then we can use another forager. Oh no, we can do that in the next turn. Another forager. To get those two light infantry units down. Death to humans! Whenever you play an elf, boost adjacent units by two, which is fine. So now we can use the forager if the ring over comes, here. Just take the whole finger. We take those up to 65. Those are boosted as well. And we get two five damages. And then my last card is going to be... You know what? I have... Yeah, let's do that now. I'm going to use the commander's horn now. And just destroy that one healer. Because I want to avoid the healer doing too much over there. There we go. Another square tail unit destroyed. So Rayla goes up. And we're going to be able to use Meave's ability once more before the end. <laughs> and I don't think... Yeah, okay. We ought to help one or the other. Damn it. Okay, he's going to use Whoa. that to heal... Yeah, to heal the, the Bryhead Brigade. Um, then of course egg and I'm hoping actually you know what I'm gonna I want to avoid that uh, Nikus eats my Morana runestones so I'm gonna use that now and the turn he's up to his last card which is not gonna do anything I think so Death awaits us all. lock an enemy unit remove an enemy's lock okay so I don't think yeah he just locked the forager and we're done I fear not. with egg Faith as our last uh, card uh, there and I didn't even use Meave's ability could have done that and there we go all the score I tell down now what were they hiding when in the that Lyrians cave broke the elven ranks Meave was convinced their foe would retreat and regroup but to her surprise the score tell fought to the bitter end she concluded there must have been something truly valuable hidden in that cave. As Meave entered the next chamber, her nose caught the stink of blood, pus, and urine. Then she understood. The elves were using the cave as a field hospital. Wounded fighters lay by the cavern walls. They made no attempt to defend themselves, nor to beg, nor to make peace with the gods. They merely watched the Lyrians calmly, with stark contempt. Okay. So, oh wow, yeah. There goes the morale. We just took out a hospital. So we got ointment Manetti, for that. Whispered Rayla. You saw what the Scoia'tael are capable of. What they do to humans. They would have no mercy for... Reynard, usually calm, could not hold back and cut Rayla off. What prey do you suggest? That we murder the wounded. The warrior responded in a whisper, slowly emphasizing her words. I suggest you leave. Leave me and my men. We'll take care of the rest. Oh, wow. Let Rayla kill the wounded elves. Refuse to let Rayla kill the wounded elves. So we lost morale already. And Rayla is really, really angry at the moment. So I think I'm going to try to refuse. Ugh. Because it's, it's, it's harsh, of course, kill the wounded elves. But I'm wondering if, if those elves would actually even survive because we killed off most of the... Because there's only wounded elves left. Everybody else got murdered by us as well. So we might as well put them out of their misery. Oh, God. I hate decisions like these. I think 
we need to go for the moral high ground. Um, we've done that for this entire playthrough most of the time already. So we shouldn't drop to the level of the Squirtel. Because remember, they burned some people alive on a tree uh, a few episodes ago. So we're going to refuse. We're going to refuse. Neve looked the warrior in the eyes and was terrified by what she saw. No, Rayla. We shall not touch them. Do you understand? Rayla was quiet for a long moment. Finally, she nodded and left the cave. Raynard followed her with his gaze, hand on hilt. Raynard, listen to me. You are to keep a close watch on Rayla until we are at least a day's ride from this cave. If she separates from the column, if she tries to double back, I wish to hear about it. Do you understand? Raynard nodded. Despite the day's victory, they left the cave in a somber mood. Damn. Okay. Kinda wish I didn't I didn't uh get off the beaten track there. I went to this cave because that was wow. Yeah, they force you to make some harrowing decisions in this game. Uh that's another trap. Uh shall we bridge it or find another tra yeah, we're gonna go around again. So uh, now we're going to head towards the uh, major plot point on this map because it's marked as a yellow exclamation mark. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a second. So the problem, however... Okay. Have, have we not passed this way before? Scouts say no, Your Grace. They mark the trees. Elves could have erased the marks or left new ones where we've yet to tread. Best to follow the sun. Only way not to lose your bearings. Okay. But the problem is, we're at low morale. Um, which means I need to somehow mitigate that before we get to the major plot point. Your Majesty, these are the ruins of an elven temple. Cracks in its walls have revealed its hold's valuable resources, treasures, as well as monsters. We can't send our entire army to fight them, but the small detachment should manage to push through. The question is whether it's worth the risk. So we can gather volunteers, have them bring back as much silver as they can can carry. So then we lose eight recruits. Or we can send Egg. What are a few monsters to him? So since we have Egg, might as well use him, right? There we go. No problem, apparently. So we got a thousand coins from that, which is good. Because at any point where I can actually swap out coin for wood, I'm going to do that. So the more coin we have, the better. I might actually even take a look at our upgrades really quickly. So the ointment we got is healing an ally and strengthening it by 10. Which could be interesting for high level uh, characters. But the only ones that actually go very high strengthen wise is uh, Aik. So I'm not going to add it to the deck just yet. Uh, I feel like we're good with what we have. And every other upgrade actually costs way too much, uh, way too much wood. So I can't do anything just yet. So moving... Towards the elven... Oh, wow, what the hell happened here? Need to get to that other side uh, later as well. But first, we need to head over here. Because we're pretty much where we need to be. I hate that we have low morale. But maybe we can fix that with the Morana runestone. So, uh, here we go. Don't know what to expect here. Meave was riding at the head of the caravan when Black Raylo rode up and leaned towards her. She spoke in a whisper, a hand shielding her mouth. Your Grace, I have something important to tell you. Yet you can't show anything's amiss. Look straight ahead. Make no sudden moves. Meave nodded slightly and waited for her to continue. Scoyatel scouts in the woods. Watching us. Eldane's near here somewhere, preparing his attack. So what do you propose? Asked the Queen, her gaze fixed on the road ahead. Let him catch us out in the open. We're sitting ducks. But there are ruins nearby, an elven cemetery. We can find cover behind its walls. Meave was accustomed to discussing important decisions with all her advisors, but she knew there was no time for consultation now. She had to trust Black Rayla's advice, and so without further delay, issued the appropriate orders. Meave's retinue reached the cemetery before dusk. Her soldiers knocked down the marble statuary and piled them into barricades, while scouts took up positions outside the walls to watch for the foe's approach. When the sun set, the woods exhaled the heat of the day, and a thick fog soon arose. Out of the mist stepped Raynard's scouts, bound and pushed forward by elves. One of the Scoyatel, a sturdy elf with long hair, stood by the cemetery wall and cried, I am Eldane. I would speak to Meave. Okay. 
Hello, Aldane. she. Speak. Cadmil and Kedva Genved, Rena. This place is of great import to us, the Enshe. So get the hell out of here, basically. I would tell you of its monuments, of the Weeping Ensevern, carved by three generations of sculptors, or of the alabaster relief of King Kellad, so beautiful even the birds would gather to admire it. But I see your men have found our memorials, and in the way of Dwan, destroyed them without a second thought. I cannot say this comes as a surprise. You've already shown the gods molded you from the basest of matter. Get to the point, Eldane. So I shall. As you certainly know, the necropolis is surrounded. Soon, there shall be a battle. But it is unseemly to fight in a cemetery. So I ask you to come out into the open. And surrender our tactical advantage. I suspected a matter so impractical as respecting the dead would mean nothing to you, Dwan. So I submit one more argument. The lives of the soldiers you sent to spy. If you leave the cemetery, I shall set them free. They will fight at your side. If not, I shall kill them, here and now. Milady, don't listen to him. He can't be trusted. Rayla, those are good men. Fabian, get it, Matthias. They've served me for a decade. They'd crawl through seven hells for their queen. They do not deserve such a death. Oh, crap. Of course. Um, so we have the tact tactical advantage, obviously, because we're barricaded. It's a smart move by Eldane. Because he, even though he says we have no respect for his, uh, for his culture, he knows we have respect for your own soldiers. So we'll leave the cemetery or no Eldane, not a chance. I feel like what Eldane has done already, he's not to be trusted in any way. Because, I mean, I'm still going back to that, that, that time he just bound a lot of men to a tree and then set the tree on fire as a trap so no Eldane not a chance I place a high value on my men's lives which is why I cannot risk my entire unit for a handful of soldiers your grace please consider I reject your offer Eldane as you wish Rena squash me in a swift, almost careless movement, Eldane slit the throat of the scout standing nearest to him, then gave the order to attack. There we go. Scouts down, but we have the tactical advantage. The battle at Kedva Genvid. Eldane wore no armor, wielded no shield. He glided on the battlefield with a dancer's grace. Walking on air, evading attacks with elegant ease. His own blow sliced so smoothly through the air that it seemed to me that his blade never found the mark. That is, until Lyrian started collapsing to the dirt, trying in vain to stem the blood spurting from their arteries. The wounds were small, no more than thorn pricks, yet devastatingly lethal. So a shortened battle, but it is a story battle. And I do love the music again. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I definitely need Black Rayla in my hand right now. There we go. We already have her. We have Raynard as well, a drummer. So let's get rid of a few of those sidemen. Let's get rid of the Knickers. And yeah, I don't need the Wagenberg anyway. I feel like we can do a lot with what we have. Rayla is going to be our main focus point here and getting a lot of stuff out of the deck. Since we have a shortened battle, we need to be able to get the most out of it. So, yeah, here we go. Careful, stay alert. They're cowards all and sure to have laid traps. So I have a tactical advantage which allows me to summon up to two units of your choice from your deck. Uh, I'm gonna start low with the Grey Rider and then start using the As drummers to see how far we can get with this. Spawn Elven Cutthroat on the... Oh, what the fuck was that? Special prize, just for you, love. What the hell? Spawn an elven cutthroat on the ranged road, then lock the lowest elven and uh, the lowest enemy, and move it adjacent to elven cut roads. And then the elven cutthroat, after one turn on turn start, destroy a locked enemy, then damage all enemies by two. But that wish, remove an enemy's lock and move it back to its original side, then boost all allies by one. And then the smuggler, every two turns, summon a random elf from your deck. I'm gonna, I want that rider back. So let's just use Neve to get him back. Aha, and that boosts us on our side, which is interesting to note. Um, 
so first up, drummers. Mom's wasted time for one line. So we need the drummers. Then I think I'm gonna hold off with anything else. I'm not gonna use the tactical advantage just yet. Because I feel like we can use the tactical advantage to get some units out which we can actually use. Um Next drummer. Left. Right. He gets boosted Left, as well, and then right. use the top regiment drummer, and we have a... Ooh, the bomber. Let's use Watch the bomber over heads. here, and <laughs> use it to set the the back row on fire. He gets boosted, and he's no longer damaged, which is good. And I'm gonna wait with the tactical advantage. Yeah, one more turn. So they're gonna do damage, so that's two or six if it's already damaged. Oh no, there goes one of our drummers. Okay. So now it's high time we actually use that tactical advantage. But first, I think we're gonna go for a regiment drummer. Yeah, with the sightman over here. Gets boosted by the Grey Rider. Then we get the Stray Slinger on the top row. And then start damaging those to get them on the back row. Then use the Tactical Advantage to get... Um, I think we're gonna go for the War Wagon and a Stray... Let's first pick a Stray Slinger and the War Wagon. So the Stray Slinger over here. Ever have a stone, knock out one of your teeth. Then get the Elven Cutthroat, the Hawker Smuggler, and another one of the Archers. And we get our Drummer back for that. There we go. We boost everything over there. And then the War Wagon we're gonna put down here. And those all get boosted as well by the Great Rider. Let's end the turn. So we're gonna get an Elven Cutthroat in another turn again. I shall not fail! More Neophytes, and that one goes down. Okay, Arena's gonna be interesting in a second. But I'm guessing we should go with Black Rayla first now. And get her on the board, because we're gonna use her You'll never take to get Xavier on the field. That boosts Snickers, and we end the turn. Ah, there goes the Ligand Merlot. No biggie. Was expecting something like that to happen. Does lose... I do lose a bit of uh, stuff from my hand now. Uh-oh. Is that a Death Wish that works on my end now? It doesn't. And we have a trap. And there goes one of the Sightmen. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Um... Okay, let's use Rayla to get uh, Xavier out. Let's get Xavier out, put him over here so the Great Rider boosts him. We shall achieve our goal. That's also not bad. Then we use Xavier to boost Black Rayla twice. Then we use Black Rayla to first off make a bit of space because we can use her to get one of the foragers over here. Over there. I only loot corpses. Ah, that's annoying. Don't want to do that. Um, so next up... Black Rayla again. We got Gascon on the field. Put him down there so he gets boosted Coin by the Grey Rider. Yeah, no matter how rank the pouch. Then we got the forager to take out the Slinger and the Artifact, which boosts him as well. And then we can play another card, which is going to be Reynard, giving us Go a lot of extra charges. Then those extra charges are going to go towards uh, first one to Xavier, uh, Xavier to get him to boost Rayla. Then Rayla is going to get us... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's get the Regiment Drummer to get our uh, Blitz units out of here first. Um, there we go. Hi. Then another one over here. Ah, to me, old lady. There we go. 
Now we have two charges for Black Rayla. Which is going to be, first off, is going to be another Forager. Use the Forager over here. Use it. And get rid of Niggers and uh, Reynard. Then use Black Rayla again to get... I think we have one more. Yeah, we have Egg over here. Put him next to Black Rayla. I fear not for and then I'm going to wait me. with uh, using that one Forager. Because I'm going to put the War Wagon in between there and use that. So... Fine for now, I guess. So remember, Rayla is going to keep getting boosted as well because we, uh, we're we going to destroy a few more head. units. And we still have Meave's ability as well. So then use the War Wagon and put that over here. So we have seven units. Wait, we have seven units on that. Mm. I'm not going to be able to. Uh, I'm going to have to make some space first. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to only have one light infantry. Which is actually fine, because I don't need more. Uh, I'm going to use the furniture to destroy those. And we get five damage somewhere on the battlefield over there. Which is damage the highest enemy by the number of elf allies. Okay. We could have moved the light infantry as well. But I don't think we can actually choose where that goes. So... Let's end the turn. There we have more of those. And I think Rayla strengthens herself by two, right? Yeah. So we got another yeah, cutthroat, but those are destroyed. Slaughter them to a man! Gonna have to remember to use Meave pretty much right now. Uh, we have three units that actually have three, um, three health left. So I think if we destroy those, we also get six points from Rayla. And I think it's also the highest damage we can do. Because uh, we could do twice on the sixes, but we can't destroy those with that. So let's use that. And we get those down, we get boosted for the Sightman and also Black Rayla. And then we can use the Lyrian Horn, I think. Or maybe use the Morana Runestone first. Let's use the Morana Runestone first since we're damaged. There we go. And then the turn. So if we manage to kill a few more, that's going to be interesting. But I feel like it's not going to happen anymore. Because the cutthroats are going to take a few more units of Do my that! hand as well. Spawn and play a fire trap. So I'm not going to be able to do anything against that. Although, no, no, the Ligon Horn is going to destroy that. Uh, but I do wonder if he can take any unit he wants. The lowest enemy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's going to be the Sightman when we uh, use the Ligon Horn. So this is going to destroy three more units. There we go. And the fire can still take out one more unit back there. So it's going to be fine. And we got... Ooh, we got that one back as well. Oh my god, that is awesome. Because yeah, of course we get boosted because we destroy the cutthroats. And all our allies get boosted again. That is nice. So we're done. So we're going to have to see what he does with his last two cards. The fire doesn't really trigger anymore. And now we have an Elven Cutthroat, which takes just one of those again. And Egg still gets strengthened for every damage we take. Okay, the fire is really, really bad at the moment. I'm really having bad luck with the fire. But I think we're going to win this. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from the deck, which is not going to be much. And we get more damage. Sightman goes down. But that's pretty much it. And we're above 300, which means we get a trophy, I think. There we go. I have the power to finish uh, a round with 300 or more uh, power. There we go. And Lord of the Mulderwood. After a long, bloody battle, Eldane's unit was destroyed, and Eldane himself sat at Meave's feet, defeated and dying. To die in a cemetery. 
Something amusing in it, wouldn't you say? I am surprised you are in the mood for humor. All my tears I shed years ago. My family killed in a massacre aimed at eradicating our race. Senseless. Utterly senseless. Reyna, we have lost. Me, my Scoia'tael, Yenche. We shall vanish from this earth. Your grandchildren will know us in fairy tales only. Lay my bones to rest in a grave. Let me part this world with dignity. Eger Dregared. Oh, please! How dare he! Look, he laughs, Your Grace! This dog should rot in an open field. Need I mention the willow? The many strung from it? The many burned alive? Oh my god, this is against such a... Because it's not... The, the stakes aren't high with this choice. I realize that, but still... I feel like if I do... Either of those, it's a symbolic gesture. Which I think... I feel like we're going to lose someone now, depending on what I choose now. Because if I choose to grant him a burial, I feel like Rayla's going to fuck off. And Rayla's one of our po most powerful units at the moment. Which is sad. And if we go with you do not deserve my mercy, I feel like we're going to lose Reynard or something like that. They're not going to like it, but... As I said before, we always w go for the moral high ground, so uh, I will grant you a burial, Eldane. I will. So be it. I shall lay you in a tomb. Your Grace! How can you justify this? A cutthroat! A murderer! As are you, Rayla. As am I. For centuries we fight, kill one another, shed blood for bloodshed, attack and counterattack, each act more cruel and bloody than the last. The cycle ends now. What was done I cannot undo, but I can do this. Grant a dying soul dignity. Thank you. Vathia, Rina. So Rina is Alvin for a queen, and Vathia, I think, is uh, go in peace. Black Rayla stormed off, shoving her way through the gathered men. Meave paid her no heed. The soldiers laid Eldane's remains in an empty crypt. The rest of the Scoia'tael they buried in a pit near the edge of the woods. The next morning, at dawn's first light, the Lyrians marched off, eager to leave the Moulderwood behind. Did we lose Rayla? So we got the Mandrake. I didn't get a notification that we lost Rayla. But I feel like we didn't really make her happy there. But as I said, the moral high ground is for now more important to me than just uh, the whims of a singular person. Um, I bet all those resources gathered and Aldane put to rest. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It has been quite eventful. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you guys next time in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.